for this outdoor DMX light, which is very heavy duty and very well built, it seems. First, let's talk about the power. The cables that run off use this special three prong connector that has a, a rubberized washer on it. If you're not using the output, you put the cap on it there to keep it watertight. And then it comes with a very short, regular plug outlet to the three prong connector and that's how you get power into it initially. Once you have the power connected, you can just plug it in and use it. And if you're gonna use a multiple lights, you can daisy chain them using this connector at the end. You have to buy additional power cables if you wanna run it longer than just right next to it because the uh, cable that comes off the unit itself is maybe a foot, foot and a half, something like that. Next, we look at DMX. It uses a three-prong uh, XLR type connector. There is a cap on the DMX outside that you can put on if that's the end of the chain, or you can use this to daisy chain. This connector right here would go into your DMX interface, or it would be uh, screwed in tight to the output of another one of these lights, or you'd get the cables that you can order separately to do longer runs than just the foot and a half or so that comes off the light. There's a surprisingly decent manual included that has all of the DMX channels. This behaves so much like every other type of DMX light I have. Uh, not a lot different on it. It's got the back menu and you can turn it to any specific color or go into modes where it fades from colors or does a strobe, things like that. Uh, pretty much your standard DMX light, except since this is an outdoor light, you'll see that all the lights are covered with little rubberized sills on them to try to keep them weatherproof. They say you can't put it underwater, but it can be outside in the rain just fine. The manual shows how you would daisy chain the lights together by running the output of the power and the DMX into the inputs of the next lights. It has your standard automatic modes like choosing a preset color or mixing your own specific color using red, green, blue, and white. You can also put it in modes where it will strobe flash or fade from colors or jump from colors or pulse or uh, be sound activated. And that's what it can do without any type of DMX uh, computer driving it. You also have a four channel mode where you basically just control the brightness of red, green, blue, and white. That's real useful if you're not doing anything fancy and you're trying to save channels with your DMX mixer or software. And lastly, there is an eight channel mode where you can do all of that plus control the strobe modes and the other types of functions. One thing to point out is a standard DMX cable will not plug into the weatherproof um, adapter that has the, the screw cap on it and the little rubber washers. So it provides a, a little bitty short cable that goes from a standard non-weatherproof DMX over to that little screw connector. Once you have your DMX plugged in, you can plug up the power and begin using the light. Again, you can toggle through the menus just like any normal DMX light. It's exactly the same as all the little cheap DMX lights I have that are not waterproof. Uh, menu navigation, selecting the mode, or driving it by DMX control. In Venue Magic, I was able to go into the generic devices and just find a four channel device which has four different level controls which matches the red, green, blue, white of this light. Once I have my fixture added, I go in and assign the channels telling it which one is red, green, and blue, and now it will play through Venue Magic. That is an effect called Nuclear Blast built into Venue Magic. So there you go, just a quick overview of the light. It works well, the connectors seem to be good. I really need to have this out in the rain or something to make sure that it's going to actually be weatherproof, but it's very heavy, it feels very well built. The cable connectors are all solid and secure. Again, we can only hope that the quality of this lives up to what they claim. Uh, so far I like it and the cost is really affordable. So these are going to be used for uh, outdoor Halloween lighting effects later on this year. If I run into any problems, I will update the review, the text description. So check that. If you've watched this video, make sure there's not any additional notes that I've discovered after I recorded this.